start by, of course, congratulating Mallory and Chad, Mr. and Mrs. Senator. So raise your mason jars. <laughs>
for making the speech now since July 4th of last year, the day that Chad asked me how to marry him. Mallory's been telling me for years that she has her maid of honor speech all planned out for when I get married one day. She said she has even gone as far to rehearse it. So I'm sure you can imagine the pressure that put on me to say the perfect thing. It also didn't help that she invited 400 people for me to talk in front of, so I started drinking early this morning to calm my nerves. Um, and I decided the speech would just come to it. Come to me, so bear with me here for a few moments. I have known Mallory since I was five years old, and she has been my best friend for as long as I can possibly remember. Well, except for those few questionable years when she had a mullet and was friends with the elementary school science geeks. We were friends then. But after fourth grade, her mullet finally grew out, she ditched the geeks, and we have been inseparable ever since. There was an icy patch we went on a school ski trip, and she got mad at me because I left her stuff up and skied away from her. But seriously, we all know how clumsy she is, and she was holding me up. I figured if she was stuck in the fence, at least I'd know where to find her later on. But she got over it, and we went on to make it to high school together. I was there for her when her dad brought her home her very first car, and she did, and she cried because it was bright purple, and she thought it looked like Barney. In retrospect, she probably didn't deserve a car because all we used Barney for was to jump a railroad track and see how much air we could get. <laughs> I was there when her dad found her first fifth of BB under her car seat when we were 17. I actually think it was mine, but she is so sweet that she took responsibility for it. Now I am sorry. <laughs> we made it through four years of being college roommates and somehow came out on the gap. I'm not sure how, but we made it. There were a few questionable times, like the time we went in a group float down the Rifle River, and Mallory insisted she had a huge tube for us both to share and wouldn't let me buy one. When we got to the river, she pulled a tiny tube out of her trunk that said, Max weight 120 pounds. <laughs> and we had to share it. It would come as no surprise to anyone that it popped within the first 30 minutes, and this was an eight hour trip. There was also the time when I loaded up a car full of girls and drove us all to Toronto to purchase fake IDs from some shady foreign men. <laughs> Unfortunately, all that ID did for me was get me kicked out of Peggy's pub indefinitely. <laughs> Even in our Roger days, Mailer was so concerned for others. Coming out of a college party, I slipped and fell down a flight of 20 stairs. Mailer ran this whole thing and came running out of the party screaming, Somebody call! But before she could get to her phone, she slipped and fell down the flight of stairs and landed on top of me. <laughs> Even though we finally both grew up and no longer act like crazy hooligans, I will always think of you as my partner in crime. Mallory has a unique personality where she is loved by everyone. In fact, I don't think I have ever met someone that doesn't love her. Mallory is the kindest, sweetest, most caring person that I know. She has so much love to give and enjoy making other people happy. Chad, this makes you an extremely lucky guy. And I have decided that with you, I will be where I will be willing to share with my very best friend. You complement each other so well, and I know that you will make her happy for the rest of her life because that is what she truly deserves. I just wanted to give you a few pointers though. If she told you she cooked you dinner in a hurry, don't ever, ever eat it. It is probably burnt, missing a few key ingredients. If she told you she wasn't the one to finish the leftover dessert from dinner, don't believe her. But, in her defense, she probably ate it in her sleep and she doesn't remember eating it. And my last piece of advice to you is to appreciate her. Tell her every day how special she is to you. I am so happy she found you, Chad. You are truly blessed to have her in your life. And I wish you a lifetime of happiness together. Congratulations to both of you. Everyone, please raise your glasses to toast the new Mr. and Mrs. Chad Bender.
got so much love But needing you so My love for you I'll never let go I've got so much love All I want is to hold you Let me show how much I love you, baby I don't mind loving you, girl. I love you. There's no one above you. You are the sun. You are the rain. You are the sun. You are the rain. It makes my life this foolish game. You need to know I love you so. Do it all again and again. I've got so much love And my love you'll see We'll stay together Just you and me I've got so much love mm, Only you know me Tell me how I love you baby I don't hide. Girl, I love you. Always thinking of you. You are the sun. You are the moon. Yeah, that makes my life this foolish game. You need to know I love you so. And I'll do it all again and again. Father and daughter, a wonderful song, traditional song. Father of the bride, who is the father of the bride?
That is the thing I'm going to do The first decision is what you Forever young 
the dancers to the dance.
We're going to find out right now which of the sexes is the smarter. If you think it's the men, make some noise. If you think the women are way smarter, scream your hats off. Go. We're going to find out. Now, this is only a dirty song if you have a dirty mind. Which, for most of the guys, okay, we do ourselves. All right, we're going to find out who knows their human anatomy better. Sarah, I hope you have been practicing this. Okay, here we go. You put your right hand in, you put your right hand out, you put your right hand in, you shake it all out. You do the hokey pokey and you turn this all around. All right, now I know what you're thinking, guys. You're like, I can't believe I'm doing the hokey pokey. No, this is not going to be your mother and dad's hokey pokey. This, this is going to get serious real quick. And to show off, I'd like the ladies right now to solo. Ladies, gentlemen, just watch. Ladies, you put your left toe in. You put your left toe out. You put your left toe in. You can dance a second. And lift your skirt up just a little bit. It's kind of shaking your leg like you're waiting for someone to help you with your flat tire. That's what I'm talking about. All right, gentlemen, was that, how was that? Okay, were they okay? All right, gentlemen, you took a step forward. Ladies, you watch. Here we go. I'm going to start out with some easy ones. You put your bicep in. You put your bicep out. You put your bicep in. And you flex it all out. You do the hokey pokey. And you knock somebody out. That's what it's all about. Ladies, what's that? Were they bringing sexy back on that? No, no. Sarah says, not yet. All right. Ladies, your turn. Here we go, ladies. You swing your left hip out. You swing your girls are a little stiff up there today. And you shake it out loud. You do the hunky punky and you turn yourself around. All right, ladies, ladies, that was pretty good. The gentlemen have a, a big show off. Guys, you saw the Avengers. You saw what happened to Bruce Banner when his lady pissed him off, right? Here we go, gentlemen. Yeah, don't set that on my ten thousand dollar poster. By the way, guys, if you have a beer in your hand.
spank him too hard. Can we